In this video, we'll balance the equation for NaClO2 plus H2O. This is sodium chloride plus water. So the first thing we'll do, let's count the atoms up and then balance the equation. One sodium atom, one chlorine atom, two oxygen atoms, plus don't forget the one oxygen atom there, and water, that gives us three, and then two hydrogens. Product side, we have one sodium, one chlorine, two oxygens, plus we have an oxygen here in the sodium hydroxide that gives us three and so far everything's the same but for the hydrogen we have one hydrogen here plus we have two hydrogens here so three hydrogens this equation is not balanced even though it's close to balance the equation we probably could just start let's get this to be an even number that'll make it easier to balance the hydrogen so i'm just going to put a two in front of the sodium hydroxide here so now i have one times two That'll give me two of the sodium atoms. Chlorine's the same. Oxygen, I need to update that. Two plus two times the one is two. That'll give me four. And then the hydrogen, I need to update that. I have two times one, two hydrogens, plus I have the two here. That gives me four hydrogen atoms. Let's take and multiply the water here by two. We'll balance the hydrogens. Two times two gives us four. We've balanced the hydrogens. Let's update the oxygens. So now we have two plus the one times the two. That balances the oxygen atoms. We need to balance the sodium atoms. Let's put a two in front of the sodium chloride here. That'll change some things though, but let's try it. One times two, that'll give us two. That just balanced the sodium atoms. Chlorine, one times two. Now we have two chlorine atoms and the oxygen has changed. We could go two times two, that'll give us four, plus two times the one. Now we have six. But a number of things are balanced, so maybe we can fix this. Why don't we put a two in front of the ClO2, the chlorine dioxide? That'll mean we have one times two. That'll give us two chlorine atoms. Those are balanced. We need to update the oxygen, though, because those have changed. So we have two times two, that gives us four, plus two times the one, that gives us two. And now this equation is balanced. So we really just had to work through this one until we ended up with all of these coefficients here, giving us the same number of type of atoms on each side. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaClO2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.